Equality Utopia has been a long-standing image of Sweden. Rightly so, Sweden is one of the leading countries for gender equality. However, in this Nordic paradise, the unsettling discourse around race and ethnicity remains unresolved. Sayaka Osanami Tornbren, Associate Professor at Malmö University, discusses the importance of equality data in today's Swedish society. What would you hope that would contribute to the Swedish society and POCs living here? I think, again, a, a more precise analysis of how, how diversity looks in Sweden and in the coming future, and also this empowerment part from our perspective that we can choose to identify ourselves the way we want mm -hmm. and my children who is mixed race mixed uh, multi-ethnic they can they will have the possibility to say what their identity is mm -hmm. I think that's positive yeah and uh, even though you know I understand those who those critiques saying that well, if you have this census data or if you have this equality data, then maybe one group will be stigmatized because that group is overrepresented in certain things or, you know, use. But all kinds of statistics can be used in negative ways. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, out of our control. And it's already done that even though we don't have equality data. So it's not the category itself that is negative. It's it's the outcome, how, how we use those data. And I think the nuanced, um, uh, more, especially in the coming future, these, I, these uh, information about race and ethnicity uh, together with country of origin, um, citizenship, uh, these, uh, generations these uh, together I'm not saying that you know if we have one then we don't need the other I think it's the combination of um, yeah. different data yeah mm -hmm. that's beneficial for us to understand the diversity and segregation and what is what is Sweden 